West. I'm a professor of infant and child nutrition in the Department of International Health at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and a principal investigator for the Javita Project located in Guy Banda, Northwest Bangladesh. And I welcome you. The Javita Project was started in the year 2000 with funding from USAID and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The purpose of this project is to carry out research in a population that represents rural Bangladesh that can address uh, important maternal, infant, and child nutrition issues of public health importance. We do that by investigating uh, important uh, interventions, assessing their impact on health, and uh, reporting those findings to the government and the global scientific community at large with respect to how nutrition interventions can reduce infant, child, maternal mortality, improve growth, improve cognition, and improve quality of life for populations that live in rural South Asia. For example, in the Javita Project, which covers about 435 square kilometers and a population of around 600,000 people with a staff of nearly 700, we have carried out interventions that have tried to improve maternal uh, and infant health, such as testing the uh, impact of maternal vitamin A or beta carotene supplementation or a multiple micronutrient supplement uh, that can be used in pregnancy uh, and potentially replace iron folic acid in improving maternal nutrition during pregnancy, specifically with respect to micronutrients. Another example is the newborn vitamin A supplementation trial that was carried out several years ago that found that a single uh, dose of eight drops of oil placed into a newborn's mouth containing vitamin A can reduce infant mortality by about 15 percent in Bangladesh. We've also carried out trials that have uh, examined the effects of different complementary feeding uh, regimens to improve linear growth and reduce early childhood stunting in children living in uh, rural Gaibanda district here in northern Bangladesh, but it speaks to the overall uh, effects of such an intervention across this region. There are many other projects that we have carried out in Javita, and while I could sit here and talk to you about it in the uh, wonderful surroundings of our faculty house here in Gaibanda, it's really much better to take to the road and look to see yourself what is going on. Hi, welcome to the Data Center. Um, this is Yajuan. Uh, working for Jivita since 2004 as a manager of Data Management Center and Information Technology Division and also working as a member of the Senior Management Team. I am responsible for managing Data Management Center and IT operations. DMC receive interview forms and roster weekly basis from the field. We develop necessary software in-house in the university and Jivita. We enter all the forms roster in the DMC by data entry. One of the major responsibility of the DMC is catching the errors and make correction according to the Jivita standard procedure. After enter and process all the forms roster, we keep in the long term archive with standard organization. Let's take a step back now and see where this data comes from. Javita has several layers of field staff, including field distributors, interviewers, and sub-study team technicians that are highly trained for intervention delivery, data collection, case management, and community engagement. There are quality control experts and lab techs who make Javita systems work smoothly. We have seven sub-study centers across the project area that serve as central locations in close proximity to participants' communities for biospecimen collection and conducting interviews. All centers are equipped with necessary tools and materials to ensure that field staff are able to work efficiently. Our sub-study managers maintains weekly rosters, conduct trainings, and work closely with the sub-study team members to monitor field activities and ensure data quality for all Javita projects. Team members go through rigorous training provided by the senior management team of Javita, as well as faculty members from the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. These trainings include proper use of data collection tools 
and proper techniques of biospecimen collection. The Javita field supervisors work closely with interviewers and distributors to monitor field activities, generate field reports, and ensure that study objectives are being met to the highest standards. An example of their role as field supervisors is to conduct weekly meetings where field staff report study progress, prepare for upcoming work week, and provide feedback from participants and the community. Javita's extensive field operations are backed up by a state-of-the-art laboratory with high throughput capacity for biospecimen processing and storage. Recent upgrades make it a one-of-a-kind lab for rural Bangladesh. Upon arrival at the lab, samples are received under cold chain and logged using a barcode sample tracking software system developed in-house by Javita software engineers. The Javita Lab is designed to handle a diverse range of specimens, including blood, urine, breast milk, saliva, and stool, just to highlight a few. Our lab technicians follow rigorous quality control and assurance to ensure that samples are well suited for a wide range of downstream testing, including the microbiome, micronutrients, toxicant metals, pathogens, and vaccine-specific antibodies. Exciting recent additions include the lab's in-house capacity for advanced immune cell isolation from whole blood and high-capacity long-term biospecimen storage in ultra-low temperatures. Javita's integrated field and lab operations underpin its global collaborations designed to impact complex maternal and child health challenges. Here in Javita, we value teamwork, collaboration, and effective communication among our staff. We conduct weekly meetings to learn, provide feedback, and brainstorm new ideas to contribute to monitoring study progress and contributing to the development of the organization as a whole. The Javita systems fit together to create an interconnected clockwork that produces high quality research data. So thanks for visiting Javita. You are most welcome to come again and see for yourself the work that continues on in this amazing project that tries to solve problems through research to improve public health in Bangladesh and South Asia.